So we're going to cover how to do a uh, continuity check or what's known as check status with the Pyro Digital Field Controller. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to power it up. It goes into its EEPROM check. Normally you'll just let that run. If you're in a hurry, you can hit any of those uh, operating mode buttons and it'll bypass the EEPROM check. Then we're going to go to check status, which is the middle button here. It's going to tell you to make sure your firing sight is clear before you turn the arming key. So once you've ensured that your sight is clear, go ahead and arm the system by turning the key. Now there's a few different options for running a, a, a status check, but we're only going to talk about the two that are used most common, semi-auto and auto check. Uh, the difference being in semi-auto mode, uh, you have to manually scroll through each field module. It basically does a, a status check per module. Uh, with auto check, it'll automatically go through, check one module, then go to the next one, check another module, and uh, you can't really see what the issue is when in auto mode, but it'll beep at you if there's a continuity issue on that particular module. So that's a quick way uh, to run through all your modules. If say you've already done a continuity check and you're just doing a, a triple check right at the uh, right before showtime. Um, otherwise, in most cases, you're going to use the semi-auto mode. So semi-auto mode is choice one. So we would hit choice one to go into semi-auto mode. On the bottom of the LCD screen, you'll see it says status box and then the address of the module. So in our case, we have box one zero, okay? On the top, it's gonna to have uh, zero through F. Those are the individual cues on that particular module. And you're gonna see either an equal sign, a question mark, an X, or uh, just a blank space, okay? An equal sign means there's something in the data table for that shot, and it sees something out at the field uh, on that particular module. If you have a question mark, that means it sees something out at the module, but there's nothing in the data table for that shot, meaning there's nothing in the script for that particular address. So that usually indicates that you have something plugged in in an incorrect uh, position. If you see an X, that means there's something in the data table, but there's, it does not see it out there uh, in the module. And a blank spot means there's nothing in the data table and there's nothing out there. And you just hit stop when you're done. And it'll tell you to turn the army key off and you're done with your continuity check.